Yo, what's up guys? It's Pius here, the Crypto Pie. And today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, guys, because Bitcoin will indicate what the whole market is doing, right? And, uh, you know, I think it's just time for a short update on Bitcoin. So, because we had a quite important bounce last night, uh, my, my night, you know, for other people it might be morning, whatever, right? Wherever you're from, guys, it's all cool. So, um, yeah, um, I, as you can see, I got rid of all my drawings for now. Because I think we need to look at this, like, you know, from a, just kind of a standpoint like this, right? Well, the, the daily. So we kind of bounce close to that 55 EMA. But if you look on the 6 hour, guys, we are respecting this cloud, all right? We are respecting this cloud for now. So um, what needs to happen is we need to get above this 21 EMA, right? Then if that happens and we do go further up, then we can officially call this this whole thing a one all right and then we have a two and we're gonna get a three somewhere okay so uh like per, it, it will be somewhere guys um like you know i'm i'm, I'm gonna just put some fibonacci's on here right so oh we'll have some fibonacci's on here so here we go so the, yeah, the, the negative six on eight, probably like up here, right? Twelve point two or so. Uh, maybe we'll just only go to eleven point seven, but that will not be too great. So right, um, let's say here, we'll have this, but this will be a very bullish retracement as well. This is not even a thirty-eight two, guys. So if this is the retracement, then we're looking absolutely fantastic. But um, we have to keep in mind that it's only a bounce, guys. And uh, I mean, it could still be an A, B, C, right? So I mean, cause I have a, I have a hard time counting an A, B, C in here. So yeah, uh, it could definitely get to here and then go down to this 38.2 and then finally go up. But uh, we can definitely put this on our map as well, right? So perhaps like this, the third, and then the fourth, and then we get a fifth to to like that 15 or so, or even. To, the, to, to these highs here, right? Uh, it, Bitcoin sometimes goes really high up on the fifth wave, so um, it's it's not uncommon for that to happen. So yeah, I mean, especially with consensus coming up, guys. Consensus is a huge event in New York uh, that's all crypto related. So uh, and usually after consensus, the market gets a nice upward swing, and that is what we want to see. So, um, but still guys, I don't believe entirely in this because we only retraced 236, right? And I, I kind of, I kind of think we need to hit that 3A2 around the, this area. But hey, we, 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 we came close though, so um, who knows? I mean, we also have the 12 hour cloud here. So, you know, it makes the case that the 236 might be enough. I mean... You know, it could could be enough. So, uh, yeah, I'm just drawing the bigger picture here for you guys. Uh, this is this is the bigger picture that that I'd like to see. After that, guys, if this is like a bigger picture, then we'll get a massive retrace. Okay, so I mean, you have to take it all the way from the first, then to the 38, to back from basically 16 back to 12k. All right, a lot of people will be uh, like caught off guard, or even 0.5, which 11.4 or so. So. E you know, you better brace yourself then, um, you know, if we get that fifth wave. It's uh, it's never a bad decision to sell a little bit at the fifth wave. But when you only had, had a one, a two, a three, a four, and always wait for the fifth, guys, if you know we're bullish. Because there's always five waves and then you get a retracement, okay? So, yeah, um, definitely uh, it's looking... It's looking just better, guys, right? It looks a lot better than yesterday. I mean, we got this this candle. Um, not a ton of volume, but still, it, it continued after that, right? So, but not a ton of volume. It can also suggest that we get an ABC. And then, you know, we st we simply go visit this, this 38.2 area right here. Uh, around that 8.7 that I predicted earlier. Um, you know, guys, trading, you have to kind of take it day by day. And you use your Elliott waves to, to path the way, right? I know that rhymes, but hey. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? And uh, so, 
we'll we'll take it day by day guys but still this this is this just looks like a really good bounce so what i use the elliot way for is just to pave the way uh that i know in the future will most likely go there right and uh but if we look at it day by day in the hourly here guys we do need to get through this uh this uh hourly cloud here so if we bash through that which i mean it's not too thick here um it could definitely happen then it's looking good again all right it's looking good again we're already above that 55 ema but we can also bounce against this cloud and go back down so keep that in mind guys definitely keep that in mind um you know there's a lot of price action here you know kind of yeah there's a lot of uh, price action here so uh yeah keep that in mind guys we can definitely fall back but it, it's not weird to go for that 38 too guys so not weird at all so you know if we fall lower than this low then expect to look for around that 86 8700 area that is you know what i want to say so you know and if that happens then obviously uh you know this won't go a little bit lower but for now i i have it here because this is how it is right so we just have to take it day by day guys and you know see see how it's going with bitcoin um as for the altcoins guys they're kind of uncertain right now right because of uh the because of bitcoin not knowing whether it wants to go up consolidate or down i mean it's very uncertain right now so uh, it, it just needs to get above that 21 ema on the six hour which is above the the cloud basically on the on the one hour and then we'll have a better direction of, of bullishness okay so just put your one hour on the chart guys and put your ichimoku cloud with 2061 2030 and then look for a break through the one hour ichimoku cloud if we do that and we stay above it it's absolutely looking good so you know that's basically just what i wanted to say about bitcoin so yeah guys um that's what you have to do you know for, for today at least so yeah guys also if you're not in my telegram yet join up with the crypto Pies block where you can ask me any question you can ask other people questions it's just a great chat box to be in right and guys if you ask me questions uh you can ask the people right how, how fast I, I try to respond so you know people wanted to know some uh ta on on um van on v chain so you know i i put my time in there and i'll tell the people what's up right then i see moon track asks like Bitcoin Cash TA, it drops 20%. So obviously I give him some targets, etc. Uh, you know, we're a nice community, guys. We'll definitely try to help each other. Uh, you know, especially ICO Moon Tracker. He's helped me a lot with understanding of ICOs, which are good and which are bad. So, you know, huge shout out to him. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of good chartists here as well. You know, I'm not the only one. There's uh, definitely uh, Crypto Boss always put some charts in here and there's multiple people guys that put charts in here so uh yeah and everyone's learning guys everyone's learning how to trade how to invest etc and you know if you don't learn a day guys that's a that's a day just wasted all right so everyone's learning and you gotta keep learning every day so yeah guys join up with that also join up with the crypto Pies feed where i post all my videos post about upcoming icos right now um like i said if you guys got an ico for me tell me about it right i'll look into it and if it's infrastructure, I'm most likely interested. But uh, we do kind of need to be bullish, though, for uh, ICOs to really take off. So I kind of want to see bullishness. So, yeah. Um, but definitely tell me, though, if you, if you find a nice infrastructure-based ICO. Um, I'm not interested in all the dApps. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, uh, I'll, le I'll leave it with that. So yeah guys, both telegrams will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.